This amendment mirrors legislation that I have introduced, H.R. 1422, the Credit Union Residential Loan Parity Act. And uh, what, I, what I'm doing here is drawing attention to the need for credit union regulatory relief. And hopefully, I'm not belaboring the point, but um, if I could just point out again, the Credit Union Residential, Residential Loan Parity Act makes a small but very significant change to the MBL cap calculation for credit unions, and that change alone would unleash $11 billion in capital for small businesses. And it would do that, of course, without costing the taxpayers a dime. So this discussion is especially timing, uh, timely, considering the Wall Street Journal's recent report on the bis biggest banks in the U.S. making far fewer loans to small businesses and ceding market share to alternative non-bank lenders that, frankly, charge significantly higher rates. So if we allow the credit unions to make some of these loans to the small businesses, obviously it is a win-win here. So without objection, I would like to enter that report into the record. Without and, objection. Thank you. And credit unions, if I could just wrap up here, have a history of stepping into the small business lending space at times of economic hardship. The SBA finds that 80 percent of new credit union lending beyond the current cap would go to small businesses. We should allow them to do more. And, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your continued interest in this issue, and I look forward to working with you to advance credit union regulatory relief. And with that, I ask that the amendment would be withdrawn, Mr. Chairman, and I, I yield back.